Hey, it's me again. And today, I want to talk a little bit of politics. Let's start with the Republicans. Ted Cruz. Um, please don't let him be president. His voice is so annoying. He reminds me of that old creepy preacher from Poltergeist. Clinton foreign policy of leading from behind. The whole world's on fire. The world is on fire. Yes. You're gonna die in there. All of you. You are gonna die. Sorry to see, you're still unconvinced. He don't belong in office. He belongs in a tiny cult whipping up that purple Kool-Aid for his flock. Anybody thirsty? And Trump, he thinks he has a great relationship with the blacks. But Trump... Uh, you ain't fooling no one. Well, maybe Amorosa. I only lost you got creamed. You know, I've always been a big Amorosa fan, but Amorosa, you're fired. This was not close. Thank you for bringing me Thank down. you very much. <laughs> now let's talk about the Democrats. Hillary, Hillary, Hillary is saying the same old things. And that cookie cutter politician is a thing of the past, especially after... President Barack Obama. We want an authentic candidate. So, Hillary, get off script. Take a tip from uh, Trump. It's okay to speak your mind. Bernie Sanders was sounding good until I saw him a few weeks ago on Meet the Press. Uh, one of the more respected thinkers uh, in the civil rights movement these days wrote in The Atlantic, why aren't you uh, for reparations for uh, having to, because of slavery for African Americans? When you're calling for economic justice on so many other levels, why do you stop short on that issue? Well, for the same reason that Barack Obama has, and the same reason I believe that Hillary Clinton has. Uh, and that is, it is absolutely uh, wrong and unacceptable that we have so much poverty in this country, and it is even worse in the African American community that African-American kids between 17 and 20 who graduate high school have unemployment rates and underemployment rates of 51%. The 36% of African-American children are living in poverty. This is an issue that we have got to address. And my intention as President of the United States is to be very aggressive in dealing with those issues, to put our kids to work rather than see them go to jail, to improve our schools. That's what we have to do, and I think that's what the American people want. I understand that, but you didn't answer the question why you why you were uh, why you weren't in favor of reparations. Well, again, it's a, it's the same reason that the president is not, and, and I think. And what is know, that Secretary reason? Secretary Clinton is not. We have got to invest in the future. What we like way to totally not answer the question, Bernie. I mean, you might as well take a page from Rick Santorum and just say, "I don't want to help black people." Bottom line is, I don't want. To, to make black people's lives better by giving them somebody else's money. He even went so far to say in a separate interview that he felt reparations was divisive. Divisive? See, when I think of the millions of Africans thrown into the Atlantic Ocean, men, women, and children during the Atlantic slave trade, when I think of 400 years of torture, rape, castration, lynching, separation of families. When I think of laws that said that we weren't people, we weren't human, but property. Then decades of Jim Crow laws. Now, fast forward to now where you have unarmed black men, women, and children who are easily gunned down by police or anyone under the new Jim Crow junior laws that basically let them get away with murder. And all they have to say is, I fear for my life. Forgive them for the fall. They know not what they do.
false motives of others. To all the white people who feel like they had nothing to do with slavery, so therefore, why do anything about it? Let me remind you, you are the beneficiaries of the blood, sweat, and tears of my ancestors. You are the beneficiaries of white privilege and white supremacy that was handed down by your ancestors. And so therefore, anyone that could put their lips together to say that black people who are the descendants of Africans that were enslaved in this country is not deserving of reparations. Uh, do me a favor. Go to hell. On a lighter note, <laughs> you know, there is other candidates out there. What's the one candidate's name? I don't know. You know, whatever happened to these... These nuts. No. Public policy polling showed him pulling 9% of the vote in North Carolina. Yeah, America, we got a lot of work to do. So if you like me and you don't know who you want to vote for at the moment, you know, you got time. But at the end of the day, you want to make a decision. You are the CEO of your vote. So at the end of the day, make an executive decision and vote. Do your research. If you have an opportunity to meet the candidates, ask the tough questions. Put the pressure on them. Don't be afraid. And if all else fails, flip a coin. It's Hillary Tell Sanders. Black people, don't be afraid to demand what you deserve. And to everybody, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm so freaking awesome. Thank you.